All right, it's time to talk about the next major leak for The Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack. More information and of course pictures to go along coming from the one and only Anadius yet once again. Honestly, at this point for all of this stuff to leaking, I feel like EA must want it to leak because, you know, we have key features, we have box art, we have official renders, and now we have even more details. Like all of this stuff seems like the type of information you would find in a blog post that is announced on the reveal day. So how is all of this available online to be leaked? This is kind of crazy. So without further ado, let's jump into this. We have additional description for the Sims 4 Lovestruck expansion pack features. Additional images will be posted on GitHub page I linked in my earlier post. Sadly, I've got English descriptions only. All right, so let's read this here. Match. Cupid's Corner. Match with single Sims. Young adult Sims and older can access Cupid's Corner from phones and computers to match with other Sims from the world or the gallery. Oh, I like that. So the Sims don't even have to be placed down in the world. As long as they're on the gallery, you can match with them. I like that. That's right. Your dating pool includes the entire gallery. The app has three sections. And about me, take a selfie for your Sims bio and choose Choose which of their traits to display. The app curates matches based on your Sims' age preferences and sexual orientation. Find Sims you favorited in the Saved tab. Add your faves to your contacts or create a date for them. Oh my gosh, this sounds really cool. This is definitely taking it a step further from when we had the whole online dating thing in The Sims 3. And you know, I'm kind of not surprised by this. With what they do add in The Sims 4 from previous sims games most of the time not all the time they do expand upon it further i mean look at some of our cults i definitely think that werewolves are some of the best werewolves we've had in the sims series and that also goes for spellcasters at least in my opinion so for them to take yet another system from a previous game and build upon it doesn't really fully surprise me i'm just really happy that we're actually getting this so dating create the ideal tryst. Create a date. Choose what type of date you want to have. Select the venue. Invite more sims if you'd like and choose your activities. Dates will have goals depending on the activities you choose. Other sims won't interrupt your date unless you invite them into a conversation and you can change the venue of an in-progress date if a change of scenery is in order. Wink. Just like in real life, if the date isn't going well, the other sim can end it early. Early. Oh my gosh, creating consequences so you can have the date ended on you. That's kind of cool. Okay, so this is just further building on how we have dates in The Sims 4 now, which I was really looking forward to. Sims have new ways to connect with new games in a grown up costume box. They can also feed each other from shareable treat boxes, cuddle in bed, or share special moments on the romantic blanket this portable blanket is always there for you whether you want to snuggle kiss or woohoo just remember love can be dangerous sims who experience too much back-to-back -back heartache could die of a broken heart this is literally giving away all the game features like this is literally everything spoiled together so new death type dying of a broken heart that's crazy and then also we're discovering obviously a new woohoo spot on the blanket I kind of figured that from when we first got the first leak for this expansion pack. I'm also really excited to see some of the interactions for the shareable treat boxes. That's going to be really cute. So those were the three paragraphs for match. The next we have connection. So romance dynamics, hot or cold. Romance dynamics exist between Sims in relationships. They can be chosen by you in create a Sim or developed through gameplay and they can change or disappear through gameplay. The four romance dynamics are wholesome, sims who are deeply in love and show it, steamy, relationships with a physical focus, strained, unhappy relationships, and unpredictable, quick changes between arguing and affection. Whoa, oh my gosh. I like how we have the option to either create these ourselves when making the sim or just developing them in the game through time. And 
I also really hope that they add new memories and milestones and stuff like that, of course, to work along with the Growing Together expansion pack. There's a lot of potential pack integration that could be had here. So the next section, turn-ons and turn-offs, what works for your sim. How attracted sims are to each other will influence their behavior. Sims can become more or less attracted as they learn about each other's turn-ons and turn-offs. Categories for these include activities, characteristics, fashion, and romance style. In a relationship, each sim can have a different level of romantic satisfaction and attraction, so make sure to check in period periodically with your partner. Traits. Who are you in love? Define who your sims are in romantic situations using two new traits. A love bug is someone who is especially enthusiastic about finding love, whereas a sim who is romantically reserved will take longer to build relationships. Each new trait comes with new interactions for your sims. So we have two new traits with this expansion pack, and I really like both of these actually. Kind of explain exploring two opposite sides of the spectrum there. So now we are on to a new category. This one is all about romance. New skill, master the art of romance. Learn to be an excellent partner in this 10 level skill. Sims who are well versed in this skill will be better at wooing dates as well as maintaining relationship satisfaction. New perks are unlocked at every level and at level 10 your sim will have an aura of flirtiness which will give sims around them flirty moodlets. Even Teen Sims can practice this skill with other teens only to prepare for a life time of love. Oh my gosh, I love that. I really love that. All right, so on to Aspirations, Romantic Explorer, and Paragon Partner. Sims with the Romantic Explorer aspiration will take a broad view of romance and want to experience it all. They're interested in dating, but they're also interested in day-to-day -day expressions of love. Sims with the Paragon Partner aspiration have a more focused goal, building happy relationships with more than one partner. I really like this, yet once again, kind of giving us different parts of the spectrum. Lots of different ways that you can personally go in your gameplay. Romance Consultant Career Start a Romantic Career Romance Consultant is a new 10-level career that branches into matchmaking and couples therapy. Progressing through this off-screen career has rewards that include heart-shaped office decor and the following new interactions give unsolicited solicited love advice, gush about love, share relationship satisfaction tips, and propose a potential match. So it is a rabbit hole career, but I'm just happy that we have a new 10 level career and a new 10 level skill. So that is always very exciting. And of course, for our last category, we have two paragraphs. Lovely lots meet and mingle. Singles hangout is a new lot trait, which will draw in single sims. Perfect if you're on the lookout for love. This lot trait brings single sims to your yard. Ciudad Enamorada has 13 new lots across three new neighborhoods, which we just learned a couple of hours ago in a video I uploaded this morning. If you haven't checked that out, I definitely recommend that you check that out as well. Vista, Hermosa, Plaza Mariposa, and Nuevo Corazon. There are two penthouses, a vacation rental, a park, a gym, a sultry nightclub, and a charming lounge. So these are honestly great places to meet potential partners partners and also great places to go on dates as well. And I'm sure that there are going to be other things to do that follow your imagination and what you decide to place down in your games. The two penthouses though, okay, we love that. And the last paragraph, venue interactions, flirt around town. Sims who are out on the town will have new ways to attract or connect with potential partners depending on where they are. Sims at the gym might show off fitness Sims at the museum can view art together. Sims who are out in nature at the park or beach can watch sky or view stars together. And there's even a new seductive dance for the bar, nightclub, or lounge. Oh god, I cannot wait to see what that looks like. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of feeling this one. I'm kind of actually really excited. I am going to try to still keep my expectations on the lower side for how in-depth all of these things go because they are 
really good at hyping us up and making it sound like it's gonna be a lot, but then when we see the live streams, when we see the early content, you know, sometimes we are underwhelmed, and for some of us, most of the time we are underwhelmed. So I'm definitely going to reserve some of that excitement, but I'm still pretty excited for this. It's definitely feeling less like a game pack than it did before, but again, I feel like we need to see more before we judge it further. So I've been showing all of the images that also leaked on Anadius's GitHub throughout the video as I've been reading these descriptions for you guys, and I'm honestly really, really digging what I'm seeing in terms of visuals. The chocolate box looks so cute. I'm really liking the outfits, and it's looking like we might be getting some new eyelashes. Maybe there's going to be some sort of overhaul that comes in the base game for that. There's usually always some sort of base game addition before an expansion pack, so it's possible that could be something that we see. But of course, I want you guys to let me know down below what you all think of this brand new information, all of these new images and screenshots. That's going to be it from me for now. Of course, if there's any more, I'll be bringing the latest news to you. So make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you have notifications turned on. Thank you guys so much for clicking and watching. Take care and happy life simming. Bye, guys.